We're going to start a new unit with a materials engineering story. And this story is about a wall. <clears throat> and you can see it right here. And I want you to think about what kind of wall might Yemen be talking about a great wall. I want you to think about that for a minute. We're going to talk about the Great Wall that is in China. In China, we are here, right there about on the red line, right there. We are clear over here in Denver, Colorado, and we're going to talk about the Great Wall of China. That's going to be our focus um, for this next unit. <clears throat> Why would they call it, let's go back for a minute. Why would they call a wall the Great Wall of China? Why would they need a Great Wall of China? In fact, let's look at the Great Wall of China. I'm going to pull it up. Great Wall of China. <clears throat> and let's look at it. So here's the Great Wall of China. Pull up an image here so you can see it. I'll move this over. And there's a lot of images here. Why would this be a famous wall? Great Wall of China see it's going around. Why would you need a wall in China? Is that wall still there? What are you thinking about when you think of that? Our story is going to take us and find out this girl named Ye Min <clears throat> and what she thinks about the Great Wall of China. So this is a story <clears throat> And each chapter has a different little subtitle. This is called The Bandit Bunny. Chapter 1. Yimin peered through tall bamboo reeds into the schoolyard garden. It was hard to sit like a statue, not moving a muscle. But still she didn't budge. Her mission was too important. Yimin was acting as an undercover detective. An underco undercover bunny detective. Ever since spring had arrived in Yimin's village, just outside of Beijing, she and her classmates had gone to their garden once a week to pull weeds and record the growth of their plants. But as the weeks went on, there were fewer and fewer plants. A rabbit, or a tusi, kept eating the vegetables they had planted. Yimin had decided to save the garden by catching the bandit tusi. So tusi is the way to say it in Spanish. In a uh, Mandarin Chinese. She imagined the thief, a soft brown rabbit wearing a small black mask over his eyes. He would hop slowly and quietly into the garden and munch away. Yimin would jump out from behind the bush and yell, Ni hao! Hello. The bunny would be too scared to come back, and Yimin's whole class would thank her for saving their garden. Yimin yawned. The problem with being an undercover bunny detective, she thought, is that sitting still like a statue is no fun. Maybe your friend Shen would come help her. Yimin stood and stretched her sore muscles. Her detective work would have to wait until tomorrow. 